Greetings everyone, this is Capstone Group number 90 from ECD department. I am Uttrish Mishra from ENC and here are my fellow teammates. Thanks everyone, my name is Hunar Batra and I am from ENC department from batch 4 NC5. My name is Rahul Bishnoi, I am from COA6. My role number is 101903149. I am in group 90. I am Sankal Batla, my role number is 1019 15138. I am currently in final year in ENC branch, my capstone group is 90. Uh, so the initial uh, report consisted of the abstract. The abstract consisted of uh, the problem statement. The main problem statement uh, which we are targeting is fake image detection. So we have, we have built a project around fake image detection. We found out that number of fake images were being built and circulated which could lead to various problems. It could affect a person's health both mentally and could even destroy the social image of a person by impliciting fake images on the internet, on the websites and other uh, social platforms available. So we have targeted the problem statement of fake image detection where we have built a software which tells us whether the image is fake or real. As my teammate Sankal told you about a problem statement that is fake image detection and as soon as we finalized our topic regarding the fake image detection problem, we began researching on the problem and seeing what all problems and what all solutions are already available on the internet. During our research, we found out that the problem of generation of fake images has been on a tremendous rise during the recent times of the pandemic. During our exploration of the problem, we also got to look at the various solutions that have been provided by various people from across the globe. What kind of models they use, what kind of uh, training and testing accuracy they were getting. One peculiar thing that we were able to find out that the training and testing accuracy were really good. They were in the range of 90 to 95%. But when it came to the real world uses, their accuracy fell down to about 70%. So we have tried to see what new and latest available technologies like the use of attention network, how these can be implemented to increase the real world accuracy. In our model, we have used ELA that is error level analysis, attention networks, and we also used weights of different models that were giving really good training and uh, testing accuracy on our model. We have combined all these to make a custom model that will help to improve our model's overall accuracy and provide instant and very reliable results. Now we will be looking at what ELA and Attention Network basically are in brief. Let us now have a look at what error level analysis is. Error level analysis is a very useful method in detecting the manipulation of image. It belongs to advanced image analysis. What we are doing in error level analysis is we are receiving the image at a 95% compression level. In our model, we have saved it at 95 to 90, then 85 till 70%. Now, what are we doing is in case of ELA, if an image has been modified, then the compression level at that particular area will be different from the other areas. And we'll be evaluating the difference in the compression level while also that uh, like 95%, 90%, 85%. If there's a difference in compression, like at a certain area, the compression level is much higher, then we would be able to understand that that image has been altered. Let us look at an example to understand it in a more simple way. Now we have this uh, image of a frog that is sitting on a wooden bench. This is the original image. Now when we look at an altered image, like for example, we have added a pile of coins here. And now when we apply ELA on it, then we can see that the original part, that is the frog, is uh, colored in RGB. So that is a normal thing. Or even if it is a black background, then it is normal. But the part where we have altered the image, added some extra part in the image, then you can see that this whitish greenish area that additionally develops in the image and the computer is able to recognize from this part that the compression here is different and this is where the alteration in the image has occurred. Now moving on the second part which we have implemented in a model is attention networks. In case of psychology attention is the cognitive process of selectively concentrating on one of few things while ignoring the others. Like we are studying something, some topics are really important, some are not that important, so but just for enhancing our knowledge about a certain topic, that is important. So basically attention, uh, focusing our attention on correct things. And we are using neural network in a model which is considered to effect, uh, to mimic the human brain action in a simplified manner. So what attention network will be doing in our case is it will be focusing on the part where there is a quite large difference in amount of compression. Like uh, an image has been edited in a certain part, then the compression there will be different. So we'll be trying to focus our attention on that part of image rather than the whole image to identify if the image has been altered or not. So this is what basically we are doing by using these two technologies. For the last part of our project, we have encapsulated our whole ML model and created a website with the help of Flask, HTML and CSS 
where user can use it anytime to upload any image and check whether that image has been altered or tampered with or not. To explain the last part and view the website, we have Huna with us. See, so this is a website uh, called Falsify for uh, fake image detection and forgery detection. So we have two tabs here that does detect the forgery and about us. So uh, first we'll go on to the de detect the forgery. That is the main application of our website. Let's suppose I'm going to change data set. I am changing another image. Let's suppose we choose this image. We'll click on the submit button. Okay, so see now. It's showing that 96.6% percent it is a fake image so likewise we can upload any original or tampered image and we'll get the desired result also we have this about us tab and we'll go on to this and we'll get uh you'll get the information about what the site is doing and how to process this so basically this is our website um i hope you like it thank you so much